real sea monsters. 100% real. And subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. What the fuck is it with these channels and manipulating people right off the start? You know why? You know why? Because this is fucking marketed to children. It is marketed as a credible source to children. They want children to watch this, think it's a good thing to learn about, to watch. And the kind of thing that gets kids to click like and subscribe is threatening them. I feel like every dumb YouTuber we watch with shark videos always threatens their viewer as the fucking intro. I hate it. If you've watched movies like Meg and Jaws, you'd be scared of sea monsters, to some extent at least. You'd be terrified of the things they could do to you, but you could also think that these monsters aren't real and are just the results of really, really good CGI work. But what if that's not true? What if sea monsters are real? What if they exist? What if they are prowling the sea right now? We actually don't have to wonder. Sea monsters are real, and today, we'll be checking out 10 of the most terrifying sea monsters. Before you start, we've been mandated to give you a fair warning. What you will see may traumatize you for life. Number 10. The Sea Cucumber. <laughs> what you see may traumatize you for life. <laughs> Oh god, I don't think I can go on. <laughs> you gotta at least start with a scarier one. <laughs> and the fucking sea cucumber. Come on. <laughs> the real sea monster. This will traumatize you for life. Holy shit, I'm never going near the- I'm not even going to go within a hundred miles of the ocean, just out of fear that this thing might come after me. Does the name Sea Cucumber sound scary to you? Of course not. And if we're going to be fair, the Sea Cucumber isn't scary in the regular kind of way. What makes this sea monster truly monstrous is a biological function that it performs when it's pursued by predators. However, before we get to that, let's learn a thing or two about these sea cucumbers. Okay, well, I wasn't going to bring it up, but since Joa is, is going to bring it up, I will bring it up. Yes, sea cucumbers have a symbiotic relationship with fish. Fish uh, swim into and hide in their anuses. Uh, cleans out the sea cucumber's anus and protects the fish. So there you go. Enjoy that fact that you didn't have to know, but Joa brought it up. The first thing that you should know is that the sea cucumber is probably just as smart as the cucumbers we eat in salads today. Yeah, that's true. The sea cucumber doesn't have a brain, and it doesn't have sensory organs either. This means that the fact that the animal even exists is a puzzle to scientists. Aside from that, the animal has a very- There's a lot of animals that don't have brains or sensory organs, to be clear. We're not puzzled. They're pretty well classified. <laughs> like, we're not- there's no- he said scientists are puzzled. I hate when they do this. It's just like a subtle way to discredit science by acting like they don't know what they're talking about. We're not puzzled. They're just, they lack sensory organs. They lack central nervous systems and brains. Oh no, I'm not confused. <laughs> it's a pretty easy fact. Number nine. So, so far, we've got a glorified slug as our first traumatizing sea monster, and I already see a chimera here. Buck-toothed ghost shark. In South Africa, a new species of ghost shark was discovered, and it's every bit as terrifying as you might have expected. This could be one of the reasons they're called ghost sharks in the first place. They look like sharks, but aren't quite sharks. It's cute. I like ghost sharks. I think chimeras are kind of cute when they're in the water. I'm not traumatized. I'm not scared. I'm kind of into it. Yeah, it's cool. It's kind of cute. I'm down. If he goes through all 10 of these and there's not a single thing that looks scary at all, I'm going to be upset. Black Swallower lives. And over thousands of years, this fish has developed characteristics. Does he realize that this is a catfish? 
that help it compete favorably in the depths of the ocean. Down in this forbidden part of the sea, food is plenty scarce. Does he know those aren't the same fish? This is... That video was of a different fish. This was just a... This is just like a freshwater catfish. ...characteristics that help it compete favorably in the depths of the ocean. Down in this forbidden part of the sea, food is plenty scarce. And to get by, you have to be something different. And that's exactly what the black swallower is. This monster fish can swallow a fish more than twice its size and... It is funny as shit that he started the video by talking about sea monsters and how you're going to be traumatized, and not a single thing he's presented has been over three feet long. Ten times its mass in just one gulp. What makes us even more remarkable is the black... He's showing catfish again. This is an aquarium catfish. ...by no means a huge fish. It's only 25 centimeters long, and quite slender as well. However, despite this, it has developed the ability to turn other, way bigger fish into breakfast in record time. To aid the black swallower, nature gave it several long, hooked front teeth that can be pushed inward to allow the prey to move through its jaws, and then pushed back to lock it inside. Once a fish gets between the jaws of the swallower, it's game over. I mean, these are just... <laughs> I'm just amazed that he did not notice the clear difference between the fish that he's talking about and the fish that he's showing a video of. I mean, all you have to do is look at the barbels to see this is whole is a whole ass different fish. For five, anglerfish. The anglerfish is. This is the actual first one that has been realistically scary to any human being ever. Literally every other one he's been he's done has been like a small less than three foot fish at least he finally you know what it took him what is this the sixth the fifth no wait this is the sixth because it's number five it took him six different fish to finally get to one that is actually not that non-scary so congratulations man you did it anglerfish the anglerfish is commonly referred to as the sea devil by sailors that's the first sign you need to know that this fish is certainly not messing about with anyone. These fish are experts at lurking at the deepest parts of the sea, like the terrifying Mariana Trench, where sunlight is a fable, a story told by old men whose eyes are now dim and whose mind has been afflicted with sickness. In these depths of the ocean, monsters like the sea devil wait for their prey. The mouth of the anglerfish is so large that it can eat any animal that comes its way, Anglerfish literally inhale their prey whole, and on the off chance that the prey of the anglerfish is too big for it, it's torn down by sharp fangs. Number four, lamprey. The lamprey isn't a particularly scary looking fish. In fact, it looks- Have you noticed how literally every time he has started off with, well, this isn't a particularly scary fish. It's not scary in the traditional way. It doesn't look scary. So just none of these are scary? Because literally every time he started off with, well, it's, it's not actually scary. Looks pretty normal, all things considered. However, you must know that the scariest animals all look pretty normal. Well, roughly speaking, anyway. Now, the terrifying thing about the lamprey is that it looks eerily like something that it's not. It looks like a fish, but it's a parasite, and it's a very huge one. Lampreys thrive in all environments, whether it be salt waters, freshwater lakes, or even shallow waters. They're everywhere you can imagine. Number three. Well, I guess nothing will ever scare me. Wait, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait, we were talking about tiny fish, and now I'm looking at a fucking underwater giraffe. Okay, sorry for pausing. I gotta know what's about to happen, because what the fuck is this? The Loch Ness Monster. Come on. It says right there, top 10 real sea monsters. He's been talking about actual living fish that he just thought were a little scary for one reason or another. How did you get to the fucking Loch Ness Monster? You probably think the Loch Ness Monster is the stuff of myths and legends. Well, we used to. 
until a long-necked aquatic dinosaur with four flippers and a broad crocodile-like body was found in Alberta, Canada, scientists posit that this animal has all the inklings of what we call the Loch Ness Monster today. It's huge, has a long neck that would be able to stick out of the water like the legendary Loch Ness Monster, and has the body the size of a medium-sized car. To make things even scarier, this beast wasn't even fully grown, so it's likely that they may have turned out to be larger. However, you should pump those bricks. Look at this fucking image. This is what you want me to believe is the Loch Ness Monster. There are, I could count the pixels. I can actually see the squares. According to scientists, this ancient animal died out millions of years before humans, so it's unlikely that any human alive ever saw it. But scientists have been wrong before, and they might be wrong this time. No, he was doing okay, and then he went into the Faxopedia thing. Well, scientists might be wrong. They've been wrong before. Maybe they're wrong this time. <laughs> ah, yes, the 47 pixels on my screen must be a prehistoric animal. <laughs> Number two, frilled shark. The frilled. I, I'm so confused. Take a look at its mouth, and you'll get the answer that you desire. In the. How? How did? What was before the, the Loch Ness Monster? I just want to address the, the list of events here. We went from... I don't even remember. Lamprey. We went from Lamprey, an actual existing creature. That's not that scary. To the fucking Loch Ness Monster. And now we're back to a real existing shark again. So he really just threw in the Loch Ness Monster in a list of 10 real sea creatures. Never ever would I think that the sea cucumber would be in the same list as the Loch Ness Monster. I cannot think of a single list you could create where a sea cucumber and a Loch Ness Monster go in it together. <laughs> Number one, giant squid. First, the giant squid has this is the first one that I've been like, okay. The other nine have just been dumb as shit. This is the first one I'm willing to hear out. I don't know why you do the giant squid. Isn't the colossal squid bigger? Yeah, the colossal squid is bigger, isn't it? Than the giant squid? So I don't know why you do the giant squid when you could do an even bigger one. But, hey, go off, king. I guess do... You had videos of two different fish that you were claiming to be one so clearly didn't do that much research has never been captured alive secondly it exists and it's terrifying there are enormous sea creatures that scientists estimate could grow up to 45 feet long they are heavy and are almost near impossible to even catch thankfully these squids don't travel in packs and have no interest in human beings however on rare occasions they could pose a threat to a small fishing boat in fact, scientists are now convinced that most sightings of strange sea monsters are actually sightings of the giant squid. Isn't that a fun thought? Okay. That was something.